In this video, I will show you how you can quickly plot a graph with insert on the graph when you need to zoom into a specific area of your plot. In my example, I use data for laboratory experiment, which is water hammer experiment. As you know, the fast closure of a valve to stop the flow completely can set up pulses of pressure that are many times the normal static pressure in the system, and such pressure pulses will travel back along the pipe at a speed of sound. In these experiments, students collect the data and they need to estimate the pressure wave speed. How they do this? They have laboratory equipment where they measure the pressure at two locations, location one and location two. They know the distance between these two locations and they would be able to estimate the pressure wave speed by calculating this as distance between the two locations divided by time that took the pressure wave to travel from location one to location two. And on this example, I need to draw for my laboratory report, I need to draw this graph and to show insert with zoomed area of the fast pressure pulse, where I show the maximum value of the pressure as well as the time when this maximum was recorded. So let's start. To save time, I have already plotted time series for pressure measured at two locations, P1 and P2. And now I have to zoom into the area of the fast pressure pulse. And the easiest method would be just to copy this graph and then change the scale of the x-axis just to show this area instead of plotting a brand new graph. So Control c copy, Control v paste, and I will just change the scale of x-axis from around 0.08 to 0.11. And now I will just format this, making it smaller and formatting axis that it looks nice and then including this onto my main graph. I will probably also change the title of this plot because this would be just fast pulse. And also what I will do, I will just display the axis with two decimal points and format my legend and also display labels for each of these points. This is my fast maximum pressure at P1 and also I show time when this maximum occurs. So from the start of experiment it occurs at 0 0.093 seconds and also I show the maximum pressure at location number two. And using data from this plot I can easily calculate the pressure wave speed. And now you can insert this onto your main plot. And what you need to do, just only change the titles, water hammer experiment. And here I will just show that this is first pressure pulse. And that's it. This is how you can do your insert very quickly. To add an arrow, to show that this is your zoom in area in here. So you can just add arrow and format this arrow, arrow a little bit thicker if you wish. So that's it. And now you have to insert this plot into your report. You copy all what you have just plotted by holding shift key and clicking on each element, you can see I selected my main plot, I selected my insert and also selected my arrow. Control C copy and when you go to your word file to insert your plot, 
you just go paste special and you paste as picture enhanced meta file and this is just to ensure that this is plotted as a single image into your report which will fit nicely the page of your report i hope you find this video useful thank you goodbye